All right, so for today's review, we are going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Cat 242D Skid Steer in 1 to 50th scale. Now, I know this is a bit of an older release from Diecast Masters. Uh, it's, I believe it's a couple years old now. I finally decided to pick one up uh, and get my hands on one. Um, so without further ado, let's get these attachments out of the way and we'll get to the review. Um, so you can see here, you got some nice detailing on your hubs uh, right here. Uh, you got some nice bolt detailing, uh, which is nice. And they're, they do have a little bit of a texture to it, as you can hear right there. Uh, and then coming back to here, you can see you got a nice CAT 242 decal right there. Uh, I do believe now, at the time of this video being posted, CAT has changed all their decals again. So these are the older decals now, and they do have a newer one uh, that they're starting to put on all their machines as well. And then you can see right here, you got a little tiny exhaust uh, right there as well. Coming to the back of the machine, you got a nice CAT logo right there. Uh, you got some nice painted lights uh, in the body as well. Uh, you got some little reflectors right there. Now, a cool thing about this is if you wanted to tie this machine down to a low boy or a tag trailer, uh, you could because there are some tie down points right there in the casting as well, uh, which is uh, very nice. And then coming to this side, exactly the same. You got some nice detailing here and here. Um, you could put some extra counterweights on here uh, on a real machine if you wanted to, um, just to get a little more weight capacity out of it. Uh, and then coming to the front of the machine, you can see you got a nice cat decal right there. You got some nice painted lights right there. You got your windshield wiper that's part of this uh, piece of cab glass right there and your handle right there. Uh, and then you do have a nice piece of uh, glass on top of the cab as well. Um, I did take the operator out of mine. I will get to that in a minute how to do that. Uh, but to get to the functionality, so obviously the model uh, rolls very nicely uh, and it lifts to about there and will dump to about there. Now, if you wanted to get a little bit more lift out of your model, uh, you can see right here, there's some little nubs on the side of the model. As you can see right there, you could file or cut them off uh, and you would get a little bit more height uh, out of your uh, model, but then you're gonna run into the risk that your cylinders are gonna pop out. Uh, so you gotta be uh, cautious of that. And then we'll get to some of the attachments here. So you can see, I got the larger material bucket on here. You got kind of got some, uh, some detailing right there on the cutting edge uh, right there. Uh, it's a fairly simple mechanism uh, for it to work. You just literally pop the little tabs off of the quick coupler and the hooks just hook on over it. Um, so it's just a plain quick coupler on the model, as you see uh, right there. Uh, now, the attachments that come with the model, like you said, you, you get this large uh, material bucket. You get the smaller uh, bucket as well. You get the grapple, uh, which is very nice. The tines are very, are very nice, and they're st stiff on the model I have, which is great. Um, as you can see right there, uh, they are nice. And then you got the pallet forks as well, uh, that come with the model. Now I did pick up this, uh, box plow from a friend of mine, uh, Lumberjockey85 on Instagram built this, uh, and it works very well with the model. It's the whole reason why I decided I wanted to get this model, uh, was because after a couple of years, I finally was able to get my hands on one of these plows that, uh, Lumberjockey builds. Uh, and this just slides right onto the quick coupler, as you can see right there. Uh, and it looks very good on the model. I like it a lot. It's the whole reason why I bought this uh, little skid steer was because of this plow. Um, if I wasn't able to buy the plow, I probably wouldn't have bought the model. Um, but it is a nice, it's a nice plow. Uh, I've done reviews of other plows he's built me. Um, so if you're looking to check him out, I will leave a link in the description to his Instagram page if you want to see some of his work. Uh, or you can check out some of the other videos that I have of the custom box plows that he's built as well. Now... I did say I removed the operator from mine, and it's very easy to do. Uh, as you can see uh, right there, there's a little tab uh, right there. Uh, you need a flathead screwdriver, or you could use a pick uh, like this. You know, it'll, just, it'll literally just stick it in there, and as you can see, there's a little bit of a gap. And then you just pop the windshield out, uh, and then you just get a pair of needle nose pliers, and you have to pry the operator off. Now, when I was doing mine... Uh, they must have glued his hands to the controls uh, on the model, which, as you can see, you have a very nicely detailed uh, interior on the model. You've even got the cat logo on the back of the seat, uh, but you do have the orange residue from the operator uh, that set in the model. Uh, you have to kind of pry them out and be kind of careful not to break it or break any of the controls. And then when you want to put your cab glass back in, it just slides into place. Uh, you just got to get it to slide back into place like that. And you have a model with no operator. Uh, you can see it's kind of a little bit, um, you have the boom up all the way. It kind of likes to tip over. Uh, she had no counterweight on the front or counterbalance on the front to keep it from doing that. Um, so you could put, just put a different attachment on there uh, as well. Quick coupler is nice. You don't want to play with it too much. Uh, otherwise, I'm sure you're going to wear out the plastic 
um, and your attachments aren't going to want to stick on there anymore. Um, but that's about it for the review of the Diecast Masters Cat 242D Skid Steer 150 scale. Now you can get a tracked version of this model as well. Um, I believe it's 250-70 or something like that. Uh, I'm not too sure. I might pick one up in the future. Not 100% sure right now. Uh, one is good right now, I think. Um, but who knows? Maybe that'll change in the future. Uh, I picked this model up from Nick's Construction Diecast if you're looking to get one. Uh, you can check him out or you can check any of your uh, other model retailers out. Uh, they should have plenty of stock of these. Um, I don't see why they would be sold out. Um, so you can get your hands on one. Just keep in mind that it will not come with a box plow. This was this is aftermarket. So when you buy the model, it will come with these four attachments in the box uh, with the model. Uh, but that's it for this review. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If you'd like to follow my social media, both links are in the description. Uh, if you'd like to see a review of anything, please let me know. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.